Today, I'm going to be outlining why you should get a CR-10S Pro. Now, stay tuned. I'm going to have a video coming up of why you shouldn't get one. I've done a review. I've talked about it, why I like it and why I dislike. But everyone has different things of what they need out of a printer. And if you're looking just in general, weren't looking for specifically for a model, uh, I'm going to tell you from my experience of why I think this model is for you for your application uses. And be sure to check out the video of why I tell you why it's not for your application uses. And you should look elsewhere. So number one, massive prints. I mean, if you're looking at these kinds of models, that 300 by 300 millimeter print bed is huge. You're able to do stuff like this. This thing is a thigh piece for my Iron Man suit. This is one print. I could have gone bigger. I could... In fact, now this was done in two pieces, but I've done a whole ab half piece in one print. That whole thing was printed in one print and the other side in another. It took me only two prints, one split in the middle to be able to do that whole ab piece. Massive prints. If you're looking to do stuff like cosplay, big models, uh, some kind of prototyping that works with big parts. This model is a workhorse for you, which leads me to my second point Why you should get this model longevity as you see I don't have it stopped and nice standing on a table for this video. I have it actually running behind me uh, That's because I've been trying to test and push it. It's been running quite literally 24 7 for a month almost I want to have it running for a month almost and see what happens so far it has not had any issues except for a fan duct. That's it. That, that part clipped off. I was able to glue it back together. It works. One month. If you're looking for a printer to run nonstop or a, a whole army of printers, if you, you can get your hands on more than one model of these, these guys will run for you, I can guarantee, for a month. I'll let you know in a year if it, they run after that, but it's built pretty well. The material that they used for this printer I was very pleased with. I, built in about an hour and a half and I've not had to really disassemble it. It just runs and works like a printer should, which is shocking because printers rarely work, especially 3D ones. Uh, three, community support. All right, now when your printer does not work. Now, I'm sure there there's plenty of competitors out there. You know, everyone has their different things and, you know, you can get like a flash forge, which has, you know, a covered case. So you could do ABS and this can print ABS. It doesn't have a cover. It's toxic fumes. You know, you can look at different printers with big beds, too, and they're cheaper or they offer more features. They're more expensive. So why? Why this one? Why the 10S Pro? Why do people really like that one? And they always talk about this Ender 3 and all that. You know, why? Well, Creality. Creality has built this pretty big falling of a community in the 3d printing world and many people are out there with experienced solutions to problems that you will probably have with any of the creality models the 10s version 2 specifically has got most of the models out of the way version 1 had a couple of little kinks and if you have any issues with version 1 or 2 you could look online and you'll have a video tutorial a reddit thread something anywhere that someone knows of how that issue is fixed. And I think that's very, very useful for someone that's new to 3D printing. Uh, for me, this was my first model, and that was something I was really looking forward to. And the other thing is, it's built. It's built in a very open fashion. It doesn't have a cover. I wasn't sure. I kind of liked a nice enclosure box. And the way that I explain it to people now, now that I've experienced with it, it's kind of like the choice between buying a laptop and a desktop computer. Laptop is nice. It's sleek, smooth, it's portable. Um, it does the job. It costs about as much as the desktop. Desktop, though, it's going to be more powerful. You can customize it. It's not really sleek or smooth, and it's not portable. That's what this is. This isn't a laptop. This is a desktop computer. It's not sleek. It's not really portable, but it's open space. I can customize it. I can change stuff. I've changed the fans. I made them quieter. Not a problem. There's great community support. There's videos out there for that. And I was able to do that in about an hour and a half. That's the kind of stuff I wanted to be able to do with my 3D printer. Now, if you're not looking to mess around with it, maybe a Flash Forge is for you. Or something that's smaller and easier for small prints. Which is what I get to point four. Detailed prints. This thing can do actually detailed prints. It does a very good job at them. 
it, you can go a smaller. Now, this helmet is fairly big and sizable, right? This is for cosplay stuff. But when it comes to something really small, I've experienced pretty good detail with the printer. Like this. This thing was printed, and it's a very difficult print. It's actually printed vertically. It's Tony Stark's, uh, you know, arc reactor. And, you know, there is a little bit of minimal support between these, but this is a very difficult print to do. And it's got a lot of detail. It's got a lot of shapes, lines, and stuff. But this printer was able to handle that just as fine. It doesn't do just big prints good. It can do small ones well. Um, it's just point number five, the money. This printer is for you if you're looking to print big stuff. It's honestly the best bang for the buck. It's got longevity. It's got community support. It's got a lot of nice features and things you could do. Auto bed leveling. It's built out of good materials. But if you're looking to do just small prints, just detail prints, and that is it, there's no reason to be spending $700 on this printer. No reason at all. If you're not planning to run non-stop printers, there's no reason to run buy this. Buy yourself an Ender. Split your files more if you want to make an occasional big project like a helmet. It's possible. It's a little bit annoying. Um, but hey, it's a third of the price almost. Um, why spend so much? There's no reason. However, if you're looking for big prints, longevity, cosplay stuff, whatever it is that you need to have a big plate, uh, build plate for and have good community support and a reliable printer, this guy's for you. So that's my review and analysis of why this printer is for you. Be sure to stay tuned why it's not. The other thing that I want to talk about uh, before I let you guys go is there's actually a Discord. I've had several people DM me, comment, everything. Hey, do you have a Discord? Let's have a Discord. Let's start one. 3D printing. So uh, I know I'm not the only one. I'm not, not the first one, but you guys asked for it, so we did it. Uh, I set some uh, nice stuff up. So there's a Discord channel. You can talk 3D printing. You can talk printers. You can talk your project. You can talk cosplay. You can talk about random stuff. It's all there. Link down in the description below. And guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.